All right. Well, thanks for coming to our uh, third tutorial session uh, for this Q3 hackathon. I want to welcome Tim uh, uh, and thank you for uh, talking about GitLab package stage. This is a new topic that uh, a lot of people probably don't know about. Um, so, Tim, I think uh, this would be a great opportunity to not only give us an overview, but where community members can help and, and, and make uh, GitLab better. So I'll turn things over to you. And uh, feel free to share your screen. Thanks, Ray. I really appreciate the chance to talk to everybody today about some of these features. Uh, I'm gonna. I have a short roadmap presentation that I put together. Uh, it covers some items that are open for community contribution as well. And just gonna share my screen. And we'll do a short demo of the container registry as well. And Ray, can you see my screen? Okay. Looks good. Cool. Let's start out with, okay, so the, I'm Tim, the product manager for the package stage, and we are basically responsible for the container registry the, and our different package manager integrations, which includes NPM and Maven. Conan is coming soon, launching uh, in a couple of weeks, and after that, we'll be working on NuGet, which is, uh, will help support .NET developers. So really, what is the package stage? It allows you to publish, consume, and, and share packages in any languages, and in any language, all in one place. And you could do that using the specific client, like the Docker client, which I'm gonna uh, show off today, how to use that with the container registry. Uh, you could also use GitLab CI, CD, um, and be able to publish these packages. So for us, our North Stars are the universality of the product. We wanna be able to support all different languages, not just Maven and, or not just Java and, and JavaScript. We want to support uh, Python, Ruby gems. There's a tremendous value in us uh, supporting all of the languages that our users need. It has to be secure and accessible. So for us, that means providing a, a unified method of authentication using the GitLab personal access token. So you could simply authenticate with GitLab and connect to any of the different uh, package managers that you want to. And then providing a, a performance supply chain. So you know many of the packages that users rely on uh, are downloaded from external sources of which there may be downtime or there may be open source vulnerabilities. So providing um, caching and proc or proxying and caching of dependencies to, for faster build times and in the future, uh, providing uh, some more security firewall features to prevent any vulnerabilities from entering into your supply chain. Okay, oh, I guess I'll do the demo right now. Okay, uh, Okay. so I just wanted to give before a little context for the container registry. I have this uh, group that I've set up here with container registry examples. Um, I have this project called container registry one. And just to give you an idea of uh, overview, you know, I have this project. Um, many of you are familiar with the GitLab CI YAML file. This is the recipe for CI CD pipelines. It includes a Docker file, and then the app itself is really simple. It's just gonna open up and say, hello, it's uh, Tim, and I'll be able to, and it'll show which host um, it's being hosted on. So let's start with maybe making a small change here. Get rid of this guy. I'll just add my last name to the hello, it's Tim. And commit changes. Okay, so now because I have in my GitLab CI YAML file to automatically run a test and build a new image on commit, I have a pipeline that's running now. So if I go over to CI CD, I could see my pipeline running. And this is building an uh, building this image now. Alternatively, I could also do the same thing from the command line using the Docker client. So here I'm uh, CD'd into my specific uh, project here, and I could build a new uh, Docker file just using the Docker standard Docker build and Docker push commands. So here I'm going to say Docker build. Okay, and then I can also do run a Docker push here. OK, 
Okay. And now if I go back to the container registry page, which is under this packages uh, container registry, I could see we just pushed this tag just now, um, this merchandise tag. And I could also run it by saying docker run. Okay, so this is running. Let's get a view of which containers are running on the system now. I could see here that the ID is this 0AA408. So let's see where, and here it is. Hello, it's Tim and 0AA4. So it's the same image that is running or the same container, I should say. So we just built and published a container. Let's go back and check on our CI CD pipeline, which finished successfully. And so we should see another uh, image pop up in our container registry as well. Uh, that'll probably be here. And we could see latest was updated a minute ago and this, and this came from CI CD. So a couple of things that we're working on here is improving this user interface. Um, we recently added the ability to select multiple, image, multiple images for deletion. Um, we're going to be adding more things like sorting and search in the future. Okay, so I just wanted to give a quick overview of how you could use, how you could build, publish, and consume Docker images using GitLab. And let's go back into the presentation. Okay, so I did want to talk about the roadmap. So what are what themes are we addressing in the coming months in the package stage? The first and most important theme for us is lowering the cost of the GitLab container registry by introducing storage management features. What does this mean? Uh, for a lot of our customers and for GitLab ourselves, um, we have not, we don't have a lot of features for cleaning up the container registry for uh, programmatically untagging images and for running inline garbage collections. So that, that's a big, uh, highly requested feature for us. Many of our customers and, and users are asking for this. Uh, and I'll dive a little bit more into what that means in the upcoming slides. The second theme uh, spans multiple, the container registry as well as our other package manager integrations. Uh, we want to improve usability by standardizing authentication and functionality. The idea is we want parity across all of our different integrations. That means that you should be able to always authenticate using your GitLab personal access token. It means that you should expect the same functionality from integration to integration, meaning that you can build and push images or, or packages using the client or CI and all of it should just work. Um, we've made a lot of progress on this theme in, in the past months. And then we want to expand our user base by integrating with additional uh, highly requested package managers. And, and we'll go over what that list is in, in an upcoming slide. Uh, I suppose I should pause here. Are there any questions? Ray, do you have any questions or? No, I, I think, I think I'm, we're good. Yeah. Okay, cool. Let's keep going. Yeah. Okay. So what have we done in the past three releases? Um, one of our, when I, I started in April, so over the past, few months uh, when I started, I noticed that our NPM registry was a source of uh, negative customer sentiment because authentication didn't work, uh, subgroups, we, we didn't support subgroups. So for many of our enterprise customers, they were blocked from using this because they're using groups and subgroups. Um, so in the past few milestones, we've enabled groups and subgroups. Um, we've improved the image deletion process from the, for the container registry. And then we've added, we've improved authentication for NPM, adding support for the GitLab personal access token. We've improved the navigation uh, for the overall the package stage. Before this, uh, the container registry and the packages were all under separate uh, navigation items. It's all centralized now. Um, we are slowly adding more and more features to our API, both for the container registry and for the uh, the package registry. So now you can list the images uh, in a group. That's important because next we'll be able to create a front end for that view. So you'll be able to view your, all the container or images, I should say, uh, at the group level. 
And we talked a little bit about the multi-select delete for the container registry UI. So that's what we've been working on. Oops, okay. So what, what will we work on in the next six releases? Um, it's like wherever that is, it's in the way. Okay. So for the container registry, um, like I mentioned, a big piece of what we're working on is the storage and management features. So we want to give users the ability to delete images from CI. Um, the way that we'll do this is uh, we are updating permissions for CI registry user um, to not only be able to build and, and publish images, but to also be able to delete them as well. Um, that work is almost done, should be coming out in the next couple of weeks. I mentioned the improved image deletion. We added the multi-select uh, last milestone. Now we're work fixing a bug with Docker where if you delete an image, a tag, it will delete all tags with the same image ID, which is problematic uh, for users and an unexpected behavior. So we're actually pushing a, a change to the Docker API to resolve that. Uh, we, are, we have built a few milestones ago, we, we built an experimental um, command for Docker pruner, which will clean up the container registry. Um, so in the upcoming milestone, we want to take that from experimental to production worthy. Uh, we, we've seen some of our customers be able to use this and it works fine. There's some bugs, we need to be able to make sure this is production worthy and this will really provide a, a streamlined garbage collection process and uh, hopefully will run much faster and much more efficiently than, than what we currently have. Tim, I, I assume like, are uh, these like also listed on your product directions page by any chance or? Yes, thank you for, for uh, exactly. So all of, oops, all of this information can all be accessed in our product vision package okay. guide, cool. which, in, which includes, um, you know, what are our North Stars? These look familiar. This is, you know, the, the information at the top of the presentation. Um, what are our categories? And if you drill into each of these categories, you'll see all of the same information I'm showing to you now. I just wanted to make a, a, a presentation for, for yeah, that. Yeah, cool. Perfect. So yeah, if anything gets updated, people will have the latest in the handbook. So. Exactly. Always yeah. go to that. This is more of a an, an, you know, snapshot. Yeah. Snapshot. Yeah. yeah. Thanks. No problem. A um, couple of other things that are worth calling out. Um, an AP, a new API for bulk removal of tags at the group level. Right now, the API is limited to the project level. So for system administrators that have many groups and many projects, this is problematic. Uh, and time consuming to remove tags across many projects. So giving some group level uh, ability there will be really valuable for cleaning up the registry. And then uh, we, you know, some more features maybe worth calling out down here is how do we expire images from CI? So currently for uh, artifacts, for instance, you could add in a line to your GitLab CI YAML file that says uh, expire in seven days. We'd like to do the same thing for, um, for images and tags. And then we want to, you know, as we've improved the garbage collection command, we want to enable users to run and schedule it from GitLab without having to run it manually. Uh, and then we want to add in a more retention and expiration policies, which will allow users to programmatically um, decide how images and tags are removed and deleted. Okay, for the package registry, so this is all of our package manager integrations. Up next, uh, we're actively working on Conan, which is for C and C++ developers. Uh, this should launch a milestone 12.3, and we're really excited about it. Right after that, uh, we'll be working on NuGet for .NET support. Uh, and then we have a couple of things. So we wanna add CI authentication for NPM. That's, we mentioned the theme earlier of standardized authentication and bring parity across these features. This is a key missing feature that uh, we'll be working on in, the, in milestone 12.4. And then a couple of other uh, small things. So uh, a new API to list out the packages at the group level. Um, that'll be, an, again, a nice change and something that we're doing for the container registry as well. Uh, supporting subgroups for Maven. This is another key parity feature, making sure that we are supporting our, our enterprise customers or, or people who have many groups. And then the same thing, maybe you're seeing a theme now, CI authentication for Conan. The dependency proxy is um, 
basically allows users to proxy and cache Docker images. Um, it's in a pretty, it's in minimal phase right now. In order to bring it to viable, we need to add authentication support for private projects, and we need to give some more management controls to allow users to delete items or, or purge it entirely. Um, so the, this is what we're working on over the next six releases. And again, it's really addressing those core themes of storage management, usability and authentication, and net new package managers. Um, okay, so what in the spirit of GitLab and everyone can contribute, what are some ideas that people can contribute to during the hackathon? Well, <clears throat> we have this issue published to a, to a group based Maven API, API endpoint. Currently, we, we allow for pulling pack uh, dependencies at the group level, but not publishing. So this could be a, a really good first contribution for people. Um, auto rebuilding Docker images in the container registry when the baseline image is updated. This is a highly requested feature, uh, something that we definitely want to tackle. Um, maybe a, a little more ad advanced, maybe not for your first contribution, but this would be something that uh, I think would be a really fun project. Another one for, for uh, first contribution maybe is an example Docker image to check the setup of the container registry. So basically once you connect and authenticate to Docker and, and set up your GitLab container registry, um, basically that there, you have a Docker image pre-built in for you to check the setup. And then finally showing container registry push events in the GitLab activity feed is, would be another valuable thing. So you know, when a new image is pushed or updated, uh, basically showing that that detail on the activity feed for people to consume. Yeah, definitely appreciate that list. And I mean, people typically ask for a starting point on where they can get started in, in different product stages. This is great. And for uh, in case people are watching the recording after the hackathon, if these issues haven't been taken up during the event, uh, I mean, obviously you're welcome to raise your hands and just mention me or Tim and and then we'll, we'll do our best to help you out as you work on an MR. So. Perfect, thank you. Yeah. Sure. And just real quick, I wanted to give an overview of what's coming next in terms of package manager integration. So we mentioned Conan and NuGet. After that, we're planning on PyPy to support Python developers, then Ruby Gems, then Helm Charts are our next three. Um, and how does this compare to GitHub's package registry? They have uh, some of these integrations, but the, the feature is still in beta. So we're hoping to, to uh, launch some of these in the, coming, in the coming months. Okay, I could just go through quicks, the, these updates. Um, so for the package registry, we mentioned Kona and NuGet. We mentioned subgroup support for, for Maven. We also have some UI improvements that we'd like to make. So allow for sorting of the packages list and allow to delete files from the packages UI. Um, for the container registry, um, we are also conducting user research. So there's a, we're, we're currently serving system administrators and developers to understand the required metadata for the container registry. And I can take a minute to talk a little bit more about that. So, you know, here in our container registry UI, we're showing some very basic metadata. We're not really taking advantage of the fact that this image we built a few minutes ago from CI, and we're not showing uh, which commit it came from or which job ID it came from. So understanding what metadata would be useful in this table um, through survey and user research, and then actually doing the work to make sure that it's populated here and, and, and that we're helping users as much as possible. And a couple more slides here. Um, the dependency proxy, you know, really we're just planning the next set of features for broad support and adoption of this feature. It's pretty early on, it's still in the minimal phase. It, this might be more towards the end of the year that we start to work on this. And for Helm charts, again, a similar story. Helm v3 is uh, coming out in the coming months. Azure DevOps supports um, announced Helm support with their container registry. We will probably do something similar as Helm v3 is changing um, how it operates to use a container, um, to use a Docker file or container registry as storage for the Helm chart. So we'll probably do something similar. We're just doing some user research on that one as well. 
And then just in terms of people, so we had five new hires start uh, between July and August. The, the package team today, we have three engineers, um, we have two managers, we have a, a product designer and a product manager. Um, we have a new, a new um, engineer starting in October and we're looking to hire another Go engineer. So if you are interested in, uh, if you know Go and you're interested in working in this stage, definitely click through that link and um, see if you can apply. Okay, I think that was the presentation that I had and uh, the demo, Ray, is there anything else that you think that I should cover? Uh, no, I, I mean, I really appreciate this. I mean, not only providing an overview of your team and the product stage, but also where and how people can start contributing. And I know there are a few other folks on the call, like if you have any questions, feel free to uh, go off mute and verbalize them or type them in the chat window. We'll give people a few more minutes. Um, and yeah, I'd also appreciate on your last slide, like listing uh, not only you, but other people in the, in the package team that people can ping uh, oh, yeah. if they have any questions on issues or MRs. Uh, I mean, this is a reminder that I give probably almost every tutorial session. Uh, pinging people at GitLab uh, is a completely fair game, a fair thing to do if you have any questions. Uh, we're all part of one community. There's, uh, we don't, I mean, distinguish between whether you're working the GitLab in GitLab or not. If you have any questions on issues or need help on MRs, I mean, feel free to ping anybody listed here or myself. It's true. We love it. And, you know, as a product manager, I totally rely on feedback from our users and from, from the community to make sure that we're building the right features and that we're, you know, that we're moving as quickly as possible and that we understand our, our users' needs. So definitely reach out if you have questions or feedback or anything like that. I'm always happy to talk to our users. Yeah. And I was also checking uh, merge requests in, in CE uh, in terms of community contribution, and I searched for container registry. It looks like there's t there are two MRs that are in progress for 12.3, and one was merged for 12.1 and a couple before, like a previous to 12.0. So it's, it's not a completely green territory. I guess people have been contributing. Uh, definitely want to see more, more of it, I'm sure. Yeah, exactly. And we have um, some, we have a couple of contributions to on integrating new package managers. So someone included, um, someone has an MR that we're reviewing now for adding in support for Composer, which is the PHP package manager. Uh, that's another one that we want to push through. And we really want to make it so that other people can uh, contribute as easily as possible and add other package manager integrations. So we're definitely interested in that uh, as much as possible. We, we love the community contributions. Cool. All right, it looks, doesn't look like there are any further questions, but obviously this, uh, as, I mean, slide set is already posted, but the video will be posted on the Hackathon page as well. Uh, so if you weren't able to join the session, hopefully you'll have a chance to view this and then ping Tim or myself with, with any questions. No. And, and thanks again, Tim, for, for making the time. Really appreciate it. So. No problem. Thank you. Well, All right. All right. Bye. Thanks.